okay so data have been saved and I close it now and I'll go to the folder and here now we can import the ones that we wanted to so I wanted to 70 2470 and 2370 I'll take them and drag them here so I'm hoping them to be displayed here at the left end now and here we go so our DMs have been displayed here so now it looks pretty much better than the previous case it looks like maybe our catch material will be displayed somewhere here so it will work maybe it's bigger than this one even and i would require more of the blocks and i will have to do everything from the scratch so i hope that it fixes here but if not then we'll have to repeat these steps with more area so for the time being we have gotten our dm now we can start working on this dm and fix it a little bit because this is separate four blocks so we'll have to merge them together so now let's move to the next steps so so after the coordinates we got our dm of the location and now we have imported the dm in the arcgis and the next step is going to be set up dm in arcgis now we have to set up the dm in arcgis in order to set up we can merge different DMs into one if they are separate or we can cut or clip the DMs if they are very large. So we can do these steps. So let's do that. Let's do this step. In order to do this step, what we can do is that I'll go to the tools here. And in the tools, you have to note them down here that how we'll have to merge these things. So for merging, we can go to the data management tools. In the data management tools you can find the roster in the roster you can go to the roster data set and in the roster data set you can go to the mosaic to new roster after clicking on it or double clicking on it you'll have to wait for it to load and then what we'll do is we will try to select all of these blocks like this sorry like this and shift them here after that, the output location, so you can select your output location. It's the same as where our data is being saved, so it's fine. The name can be adjusted here, so you can say combined.tif, right? You can see the uh, tif is written here, it's, it's suitable. Then 8-bit unsigned. Now for this, what I'll recommend you is that right click here on any one of these and go to the properties. And in the properties, you can see it's written here it's signed integer 16 bit it's 8 bit unsigned so we have to shift it to 16 bit signed integer and also the number of bands are one which is here number of bands are one and what else nothing else okay so 16 bit sign integer let's do that we don't need spatial reference it's optional so we'll just leave it 16 bit signed and the cell size leave it number of bands one and the other things are fine so let's okay it okay output location is required so okay let's add the output location here i think this one is fine okay i think we can name it either here or instead of that we'll just like that right so it's added after we do that we'll have to wait for it to process sometimes and then okay now we'll wait for the background process to run and merge them right now you can see there are some lines but now they're going to be removed and it will be looking like it's one uh, roster so for the time being you can see that these are squares and some sort of blocks but now after it's fixed they will be gone and you'll not be able to see these lines there so let's wait for it it's still processing and here we go over merge have taken place you can see the notification and you can see that the lines are now gone there are no lines now and it's just one roster so that's the uh, um, progress that we've made till now now even you can make the other ones not visible here if you want to right and but do not delete them let's let's just keep them there you can either maybe like this right and that's done right so perfect 
our roster is ready. Now after you have set up our, our DM in ArcGIS, now the next step is using the tools to find the catchment area. So let's start using the tools. So the tools are going to be like fill, flow direction, flow accumulation, watershed. So let's use these tools. So we'll start with the tools here. I'll just try to minimize this and minimize this one. And the tools that we're going to be working now is all going to be spatial analysis tool. Why is this blue? Okay. And then in the spatial analysis tool, I'll go to where is it? Hydrology. In the hydrology, we'll go to we'll click on fill. Click on the fill. We'll select the combined. Clicking on the fill, we'll select the combined here, which is this one, or you can just directly drag it here and then OK. We can wait for the process. Okay, so fill have taken place, right? The fill is complete. After the fill is complete, you can see the difference between the fill and without fill. Right? The fill have adjusted a little bit of the things here for the software. So okay, now that's done. Now the next step is going to be flow direction, right? So let's go to the flow direction and we'll select the fill here and okay. Okay, so the flow direction is also completed. Now one thing I want to share with uh, before we move further is that these things take time depending upon the data that you're working on. If the catchment area or the data that you have taken is very much large, so it will take very much long time to process. And it might take three hours or four hours even to complete the steps. And if the data is very small, so it will be done quickly. So that's one thing that I want to uh, mention here that it can take a lot of time, right? Even hours, okay. After the flow direction is complete, the next step is going to be the flow accumulation. So let's do this one. We can select the flow direction fill here and okay. 